Hi guys. Welcome to week 14. 14? Sheesh. 15? 14. Welcome to week 14. I'm sorry, my brain is like oh, all over the place. Like, I mean, what's new, huh? It's always like that. But I am just really tired, which we all know has been a symptom of mine for a very long time. Um, we are not attributing, attributing it to Manjaro because of my, um, my um, iron levels. We're just saying that's what it is. I don't really know if, you know, anything else is adding to it, but that's where we're at with that. Weighed in this week at 329.9 pounds, which is really weird because I actually weighed in earlier and I was at 326. So I'm, I'm up three pounds, but that was not my official weight. So I am officially 1.5 pounds down from last week's weigh in at 331.4. Um, we injected two five milligram, um, two five milligram pins, uh, into the right belly again on, uh, the day, the night before and the day of injection, I've been hungry. Now I have said that I've been very hungry. This is not in comparison to prior to starting GLP-1s. This is in comparison to the extreme appetite suppression that I have been getting with GLP ones. It's so on like a like a regular non non medicated belly that hunger isn't even like it's I would say it's maybe half of when I would be super hungry before. But because I'm so used to not ever feeling hungry and not wanting food that when I do get it, I do like, I feel like I'm starving and I'm going to die. None of that is true, obviously, but I definitely, I definitely feel hunger pains and I definitely feel like I need to eat and I definitely can eat far more than, um, during the rest of the week. Um, I have not had any symptoms this week outside of that until today. Today I'm very nauseous. I don't know what that is being caused by. Um, I woke up this morning just really nauseous and I was like, okay. I also could not sleep last night. We had a really bad storm come through. It really felt like the lightning was inside of my house. It kept me up all night long. And then when I finally did fall asleep about four in the morning, I woke up when David left at like 540 in the morning. And I had the worst heartburn that I've had in a very long time. You know, the kind where even your chest, like it literally feels like it's burning, like that fire heartburn. I had that. And then so I took um, some peppermint Tums. I went back to bed. I woke up about eight. And then I was just nauseous. So I don't know if the nausea and the heartburn is a direct result of the Manjaro or if it's, I, you know, when you don't sleep, your body aches, your body aches a lot. You feel really tired. Well, when I don't sleep, my body aches a lot and I don't feel good. I feel like I'm starting to get the flu. I've always been like that. I don't know if that's what triggered the fact that I really don't know. But right now we're just going to say that um, one of the side effects is nausea and we'll see if it continues um, next week. And if it does, maybe I'll ask to go back. Well, no, if it does, I will ask what my doctor thinks I should do, whether I should go back down to 7.5 because I didn't have any of that in 7.5. You know, I've been pretty lucky to have very few side effects at all, but you know, having any is a little like, 
going from nothing to having something. And maybe it's just that I didn't have, maybe it's that I've been so sick with other things that my body isn't recognizing what's what. So who knows? I could have had side effects the entire time and didn't even know. And now that I'm starting to feel better, I'm recognizing them because, you know, I'm feeling better. So I'm not feeling um, the worst of the stuff that I've been feeling. So I have no idea. But I'm starting to get some acne right here. The only time I ever do that is when I'm on my period or when I'm going to start. If, I mean, although I've been bleeding this entire time, that would explain the breakout. That would explain the sudden increase of the three pounds. And it would explain the hunger. I don't have any craving for anything. Like, I'm not saying, ooh, I, I want this. or, You know what? That's a lie. I have been wanting pistachio ice cream. And... I don't blame anything except for TV. Well, not TV, but YouTube. Because everybody and their mama are making these Dubai pistachio chocolate, whatever, dupes, copycats, whatever, however you call them. And I'm like, I love pistachios. I love pistachio nuts by themselves. I love them in baked goods. I love them. I just love them. And I'm just like, mm. and I'm see I'm literally seeing them everywhere I turn. And all of a sudden, I'm like, you know, I can't have that. But I could probably find some pistachio ice cream. So I have been having a craving for that, you know, on and off. It mostly just happens every time I see those videos. And I'm just like, mm, pistachio ice cream. But like on my own without that, I'm, I'm not craving anything in particular. I'm just hungry. I'm just more hungry than normal. So we'll see. I'm hoping to hear back today or tomorrow from my doctor to see what my iron levels ended up being and go from there. Um, yeah. I really, really hope that this um, nausea goes away because it's gross. I do have some anti-nausea medication from surgery that I can take. If it gets worse, I probably will. It's not that bad. It's just... I don't like it. Um, so we had this like weird random storm come through. It was like 101 on Saturday. It was gross. And then on Sunday, it was like 98 or something. And all of a sudden it was storming. And that would explain why it was so freaking humid. But it was storming and storming and storming. And then now it's gone. And it's like 80 something degrees outside. And I'm like going on with this weather and I hope that that means that it's starting to cool down and fall is officially here and starting to come in and look at it wearing orange but David bought me this candle I think it was last year pumpkin spice candle because he knows how much I love pumpkin spice stuff um but it's super duper tall but it does still fit under my under my um my uh, candle lamp and I love the smell I love the smell it smells so good but yeah so how are you guys doing how's everyone in how how has your week been how like I'm still having trouble like processing thoughts I think that's just ADHD <laughs> you know um I want to send you guys some digital hugs I hope you guys have been having a great week um I would love to hear all about it. You already know. Leave a comment down below. I would love to hear the good, the bad, the ugly. I just want to be there to support you and remind you that, you know, you're not alone. You're really not. And I'm super proud of you for just doing what you got to do every day. And I will see you next week. Bye, guys.